everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to our channel. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for stopping by. Today I want to show you guys how I overdraw lips to make them look big and juicy. If injectables aren't for you, then this definitely is something you're going to want to watch. It's easy, it's fun, and you look pretty sexy if I do say so myself. Well, thank you. I can't wait to tune in and watch how you do my lips, so stay tuned. Here we go, guys. <laughs> Alright loves, you're going to want to grab your favorite lip liner. Today I'm using a medium brown shade. You can use any color you like as long as it's a medium or darker tone. I'm going to start by drawing above the lip line in the center portion of the lips. Simply trace right above your natural lip line. Once you've got that done on the top, then you can move to the bottom and follow the same steps. The most important thing I can share with you guys when overdrawing your lips is to only overdraw the center area of your lips. Don't overdraw the sides or the corners of your mouth because you'll just end up looking like a clown. <laughs> so then you want to gradually connect the lines you've made in the center of your lips to your natural lip line on the sides of your lips. Once you've done that, make a kiss face and then trace on top of some of the natural folds you have in your lips with the lip liner. Now, there's a lot of debate on whether this step really has a big effect on the outcome of your lips looking big or not. I personally like doing it, but you might want to play around with it and see if it's a step you want to keep in your routine or not. See if it works for you. To fill the lips with color, I'm going to be using a new product by Buxom called Wildly Whipped Lightweight Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nudist. Now this is a really great choice for lipstick when you want to have your lips look bigger because it's actually a plumping lipstick. It has a soft matte finish and a really light whip texture to it. It's made with shea butter so it leaves your lips feeling so soft and smooth and essentially really plumped. This lipstick comes in 12 different beautiful shades, but here are six of my favorite. Once that's done, I'm taking a lip gloss that is a shade lighter than the lipstick we just used. I'm using Buxom Full On Lip Cream in White Russian. And I'm applying that in the center of the lips. And that just about finishes everything off. So just remember guys, when you're first trying this technique, it does take practice, so don't be too discouraged if it's not looking exactly how you want it to. Just keep trying and you'll get the hang of it. I'm excited for you guys to try these steps and hopefully they help you achieve beautiful lips like this. And not like this. <laughs> so that's it guys, this is how we got these pillowy, puffy, pouty lips. You just want to smooch them, don't you? I know you want to smooch them. They look so good. They look so cute. <laughs> yes. Make sure you guys subscribe, leave comments, let us know what you think, and follow us for more videos like this. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>